Hi guys, it's Belle here and I'm coming on with another kind of little vintage charity shop haul that I got. Not everything's vintage and in fact one of them is not even craft related but let's get started. So I think first today I'm going to actually do these bits and bobs. So the first thing I got, I picked up, was this cute little cat tray. Um, it, we have recently acquired some kittens, rescued some kittens or adopted them from a sanctuary. And I saw this and I thought it'd be brilliant to put on my craft table with bits and bobs when I am crafting. So, um, yes, I picked that up. Very happy with that. Then I picked up some of this um, bias binding in this gorgeous, it's three yards of it, in this beautiful kind of orange, burnt orange. It's so beautiful. I don't know if it's vintage or not. It does look vintage. And it does say made in Great Britain, which makes me think, it may be older and I never find things like this when I'm in shops so I'm super happy and on top of that I also picked up some of this bias binding which may have actually partially been used but that's fine I'm okay with that and it is this beautiful rich deep green guys um, there's only a little bit of that left but literally it was only a few pence so happy with that also picked up this, which I also think might be vintage. I never find things like this usually. Um, so I will, obviously there's one missing, but and there you go. And I will be um, putting that in a journal, I think. That's so cute. Then I found, find, found two of these. And again... I don't know, they have a vintage look. This one's a bit torn up there and everything, but this is a beautiful colour. You can see that. So I found that, and then I found this one. And this was a lovely deep red. It says it's only 14p, so like, that was very cheap at the time. This would probably be a lot more now. Um, and again, I don't know if it's vintage, but I liked it. I don't know if I'll use the thread and then use the other bits. Then I got some of these wooden buttons. They're a really good size. I don't think these are vintage at all. Um, but I just really liked them. And they'll be great to put on embellishments. And there's two, four, six, eight, nine in there. So I picked up that. Then I picked up these. These definitely aren't vintage. So there's the three Christmas ones. Which are plastic. But the main reason I picked it up was someone had cross-stitched this little fox button. Um, I think I've done a design like this before. And obviously I had been working on an altered fox journal and I've just got foxes on my brain. So, And then I got these two tassels, which are for this one in particular, is for a journal, which may, by the time this video is up, be finished. I don't know. And this one I thought would work great for a Christmas journal as well. Although this video may be going up either just before Christmas or just after Christmas. So there are all those fun little bits and bobs I got. Then I picked up this beautiful vintage book. It's really... Can you see that on the front, guys? It's a guy... It's gilded. It's a guy sitting under a tree with a church in the background. It's actually in really good condition. It's the country book... Um, Hampshire and the Isle of Wight. Topaz, excuse me, sweetheart, you're right in the light. And it's in really good condition. I'll try to see how old it is. Not sure it says. But the main reason I picked it up, oh, 1940, this is. The main reason I picked it up was I love the cover. And it's got all these illustrations in it. So, like these these large black and white illustrations and it's got lots of them and you know some are of towns which are good fun they'd be great in collages some are of um just the countryside if you can see that there's some uh like look at the old villages i just love these images um there's some that would definitely work in gothic books. I mean, that one's got all the hay in it. That would be perfect for an autumn journal. You know, uh, just darker um, and churches and things. Look at that one. 
so yeah it's just got some great look at the cliffs some great photos in here look at that that'd be great in a gothic journal actually um and yeah i just i fell in love with the photos in it and it was so cheap so i was like yep i'll have that one or even that one look um i used to actually live in hampshire so uh yeah it's just beautiful and the photos are great so and i love the cover so i picked that up then oh i've been looking for one of these for ages it's the english carol book um and it is 1926 guys and it is what it says it's all the old carols christmas one a child this day was born um babe in bethlehem's manger some i've never even heard of like cherry tree carol christ is born god rest you merry gentlemen it has the first and second version holly and the ivy um seven joys of mary snow lies thick upon the ground and so it has the music and then it has the words to it which i really love i really love how they've got both in here and I have been looking everywhere and really struggling to get Christmas music. If you've been following me for a while, you will know I like to, when I put music paper in a journal, if possible, link the piece of music with the theme of the journal in some way, um, rather than just a random piece of music. Sometimes it has to be a random piece of music, I've got to be honest. Um, but I try not to do that. So where i can and then right at the back oh, this is just so beautiful and then look someone's written in the back all the different hymns that they must have been planning love the coloring of it here so yeah 1926 guys this is almost 100 years old which is just crazy to think of then um i picked up this book this was actually free it was in one of these like free library things a garden of your own and it's actually i think a coloring book this was 1978 so i think it's a coloring book but i just love the images in here i love the different looks on them so lots of writing bits but then you get big pages like this um right look at that that would be so fun in a journal um yeah, just so much fun in a journal. Look, Venus flytrap, walking fern. Um, yeah, we've got all these different bits. And then it's also got like um, like these pictures too, which I think would be really interesting to put in journals or like that one or make envelopes and ephemera out of. Or I love that one. I am going to be making a book themed journal next year and this will definitely be going inside that. So, I mean, for free, guys, I couldn't not pick that up. And then the final book I found was The Lonely Scarecrow. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. It is embossed. Let me get the cover off so you can see. Look at the back. You can see it's all embossed all of the animals you might see it better on this side where you can see the debossing hopefully um everything is debossed and embossed i think this is from the 90s like early 90s but the images themselves let me try and get that up to you can you see it's all embossed on the images inside and the pages are like this which makes it easy to kind of take apart. Look, this is literally, guys, it's all embossed. The scarecrow, the, the holly down there and everything. I'm trying to find, it might be at the back where it says it. Um, I think it's 1999. Um, yeah, so the images in here like this, I would cut that out and put that in a journal. It's a bit of a scary um, scarecrow. And these birds, with the little caterpillar. I mean, look at the detail, guys. And it's again, it's all embossed. You can feel over it. Look at these little fox cubs playing down here. The imagery in here is just so beautiful. Oh, I'm also going to be doing a poppy journal next year. So, like, pages like that will be perfect. These little ones. 
is just look at the snowflakes on there oh, oh love it look at that image just love it so i picked this up because i couldn't not it was just too beautiful to use um so yeah so that's everything i picked up so i got the four books i'm so happy this was probably my favorite well this is my happiest find this is probably my favorite and then all these little bits themselves so uh yeah that's it for now guys i hope you enjoyed this little mini haul hello topaz and um thank you so much for watching and i will be back again soon wherever you are in the world i hope you're having lots of crafty fun bye for now